A slight dip in our latest data report from the state health department tonight. Nearly 12,000 new cases of COVID-19 reported over the past two days, but that two-day average is down nearly 25% from Wednesday. Our testing positivity rate also down slightly, coming in a little above 15% both Wednesday and Thursday. As Michigan's health care systems continue to operate at or above capacity, hospital officials want to encourage people to use other options instead of the emergency room, reserving it only for true emergencies. I spoke with Steve Pelega, the chief nursing officer at University of Michigan Health West, about what they're seeing in the ER. So let's talk about just how crowded the emergency room is and kind of unnecessarily. Yeah, sure. Our emergency department is busier than it's ever been. Uh, we've got some of the longest wait times that we've ever seen, you know, and typically we we always wanted to get people back within 30 minutes. Um, we're, we're still out there. You know, we, we triage people. The sickest people are being seen, but our wait times have gone up significantly. Uh, we've had wait times upwards of five and six hours in, in our waiting room. And uh, again, you know, we triage everybody as they walk in the door. The, the very sickest of the sick get seen immediately. Uh, you know, your, your heart attacks and your strokes and, and a lot of the diff breathers now with COVID are getting seen immediately. Um, so, but, but there are folks that are waiting a long time because there, there are some, um, just some other people in the ERs and just really a, really a long wait times. Yeah, and you mentioned um, certainly there are emergencies, heart attacks, stroke, things like that. What kinds of things, what kind of symptoms if people are having that they shouldn't be going to the emergency room? Uh, lately, what we're seeing now is a lot of folks that have been um, exposed to somebody with COVID and they want to come in and, and get a COVID test. And it's absolutely not the place to get tested in the emergency department. Um, again, if you're symptomatic, we want to see you. We, we're happy to see you. Uh, we want you to, to definitely check with your PCP. A lot of things can be seen at our primary care offices. So check with your primary care provider first. Um, but if you need that critical intervention, certainly come to the ER. Yes, right. So you mentioned, I mean, urgent care, your PCP. I mean, are there uh, online things that we can be doing as well? Certainly, if somebody needs, uh, if, if you're just interested in getting that COVID test, there are a lot of places set up that can do that test. You can check with your primary care provider. Uh, we have a, uh, a, a great link on our website, you know, uofmhealthwest.org, and it can guide you right to where you can get that test. We've uh, stood up, we have an independent testing center uh, up and ready to go. So there's a lot of places people can get those tests. How are you guys holding up? I would say that people are, are very tired right now. This is 21, 22 months into the surge. Um, our Delta surge right now started in September. Um, we're at some of the highest levels of COVID that we've ever seen. I would say that nurses are very tired and, and you're rounding. You, you can see it in their eyes. Um, everybody's working really hard. We're all going to lean in. We're going to, we're going to be there for you. Um, but it's, it is exhausting. I can imagine. We certainly appreciate all you and the entire staff keep doing. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. All right. Thank you.